Hi everyone and welcome to episode 13. This is a special episode in that it uh, stemmed from a request the other day on Instagram. Somebody uh, asked me how to paint dark skin tones like African skin tones. And uh, I thought this would actually be a great opportunity to do a topic video on, uh, on just that. The figure I selected for this tutorial is from the Paracel uh, figure kit. One of the, um, one of the 11 figures uh, included there. Uh, in this case, an African-American soldier. And this guy is actually perfect for this tutorial. And uh, I'll be focusing on how to paint African skin tones in this video. In the world that we live in, we are many different people, many different skin colors. Uh, my country, South Africa, is actually known as the Rainbow Nation, simply because we have so many different cultures and languages. And uh, as scale modelers, we need to be able to realistically portray uh, a different variety of people, whether they be Asian, European, or, or, or African. The existing paint kits out there deal realistically with, uh, with lighter skin tones, European skin tones. But uh, I myself battle to, um, to paint uh, African skin tones and consequently I started using my own colors and I'll show you what those are later. I approach dark and light skin tones exactly the same. First we have a base color, that's the most important part. Next the shadow colors, the highlights and uh, of course the hairline, the partition between the forehead and the hair and then finally the eyes, whether they be open or closed. Now, when I paint a darker skin, such as African or African-American, I use this exact same approach. First, I imagine a light source shining directly from above, and this will guide me as to where the shadows and the highlights should be. First, we have a base color, then the shadow colors, the highlights, the hairline, and then finally the eyes. And in this case, this uh, sleeping soldier's eyes are closed. For me, when I'm doing figure painting, the most important color is the base color. Uh, today, I invited my good friend and next door neighbor Sabata over uh, just to show you uh, the importance of this. Um, hello, everyone. I am so excited to be your hand model today, showcasing my dark chocolate skin color. <laughs> Though I th always think that I'm more of a top deck, but yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Cadbury would love it. Would love this. But I'm, <laughs> I'm looking forward. <laughs> okay, so for my skin, the base color will be beige red. And then for my friend here, yeah, the skin color will be chocolate brown. Hmm. Interesting. So there you go. There's chocolate wherever we are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's get started. After the figure has been prepared, washed properly, to get rid of all the uh, the resin dust, I'm going to apply the um, the usual black uh, primer primer coat from Vallejo. Now you may ask me why black. Uh, for figure painting, I use black because it already gives me a let's call it pre-shading. If I spray my acrylic color directly from above. And uh, in this case, I can also already see where the exposed skin is that I will need to cover. In this case, his chest, his arms, and of course, his face. Next up is my, uh, my base color, this being chocolate brown. This is loaded into my airbrush, and I now spray this color directly from above so as to get all those natural shadows that my black uh, primer coat uh, will, will give me. Here you can see. That is already starting to look very good. And we can now proceed with some highlight and shadow colors. I now use the same colors on my wet palette, this one being from Red Grass Games. Uh, just a drop of each, this being the base color. Next up is the, uh, the first highlight color, a, a bit lighter shade. This is Flat Earth. We'll need a little bit of that. There we go. A color lighter than flat earth would be brown sand. Still in the same, let's call it color range. I'll need a drop of that. And then finally a dark color. I try to avoid using solid black. Uh, in this case, I'll be using a German camouflage black brown. Now with these colors on my wet palette, I can now start um, blending them, creating darker and lighter shades. In this case, I'm going to apply the first light shade as a highlight 
on his uh, on the cheekbones and uh, the forehead and again this is very gradually applied again keep in mind the previous graphic shows us where the highlight and shadow tones are applied we're busy with highlights so this will go on the cheekbones the abdominal muscles as well as the uh, the, the forearms the nice thing about wet palettes is that you can really blend an infinite amount of, of lighter and darker shades uh, in this case i'm applying a slightly darker shade of the uh, of the flat earth and uh, while i'm doing this i'm i'm continuously blending my light brown into the uh, into the chocolate brown base color and uh, this is not something you rush this is something you take your time with here's some uh, some darker color just to blend in properly this goes on the forehead Again, guys, you've got five extra brushes on your on your hand. Don't hesitate to use them. With uh, with acrylic paints and especially figure painting, I will regularly use my finger just to sort of smudge the paint and help it to blend more. Yeah, I'm mixing a slightly uh, darker brown, and uh, this will now go into the shadow areas. In this case, on the forearm. Those, uh, those muscles there and the wrist. There we go, just uh, smudging it to blend it, help it to blend. And then of course also the uh, on his abdominal muscles. There we go. It's already starting to look very good. There we go, nice natural uh, skin colors. Typically when I'm painting a figure, I would move back and forth between highlight and shadow tones uh, until I arrive at a result that I'm happy with. So. Again, one of the reasons why I can't really provide you with a set recipe. On the tip of the nose, as well as um, the, uh, the top of the cheekbones, uh, an even lighter color. I find on facial features, um, it's, it's actually good to just sort of exaggerate them, if you wish, a bit more. Now is here, I'm doing a mix of uh, solid black and the black brown. Again, I'm trying to avoid solid black, so I'm just adding a touch of, touch of brown to it. And uh, this will now be applied uh, to his hair. And again, keep in mind that hairline, the partition between the, uh, the forehead and his hair. For the inside of the mouth and the lower lip, I use black red. And there we go, this is the final result. I'm super happy with this. And uh, all that remains now is to paint his uniform. And uh, for that, you can refer to the previous video that I did. This uh, sleeping soldier is now ready to join the rest of the platoon on the truck. I'm, I'm really thrilled with this result. I'm really looking forward to painting a few more of these figures from the Paracel figure kit. Thanks guys, and that's it for this video. Thank you to my friend uh, Sabata for joining me, my first uh, guest star on uh, Off The Sprue. So what do you think, my friend? Did I get it right? Um, I'm very happy with the detailing that you've done here, especially on how the highlights are showing of the color, um, even on the, the stamina there and the face. So this guy is like me, always sleeping, but this is beautiful. It's nah, dope. Thank you. <laughs> but you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit disappointed in my, my beige red. I was expecting something like movie star beige. Um, and now, and now I need beige red. You get to be chocolate brown, and I'm just like beige red. You know? Yeah, um, it shows. That's why we are loved by ladies, that's all. <laughs> Because everyone loves chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So this is good, beautiful. This is good whiskey though, eh? Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, it's Gift nearly... from, from my friend. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. This yeah. is nice. I wonder, um, if, I wonder if anybody's still still watching. I think the music is even even ended now, but we don't really care. Do we? No, we don't care because we are like this every we day. We're yeah. tired, yeah, but yeah. having fun. Yeah, that's good. Uh -huh. I'm so glad that I'm on TV. That's just my hand. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. Off, the, off the sprue is huge. Yeah. I mean, it's massive. It's 
I, it's actually like, I think this one will get 40 views. Really? Yeah. <laughs> can, can, can go to more than that. Maybe 2,000. I'll be happy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Something to brag about though, yeah. if that happens. But still, I'll brag even if it's 10 views. <laughs> <laughs> it's still fine. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited just to watch this video.